You know, today we have a special guest that you're going to enjoy. I'm going to suggest all of you get out your pens, get out your paper, because this individual is a world-renowned expert on her topic. We are so fortunate to have her here today. We searched and found her and made arrangements for her to come here and teach you the impact of grounding. She's the author of earthing books and grounding books, and she is one of the world's most renowned experts on what grounding can do for you and how it can change your life. Let's bring up Dr. Laura Conover. Well, I'm so excited to be here to represent Carico and teach you guys about grounding today. My entire life, I've been really passionate about health, and I know all of you are because you work for this company. Because I'm going to just spend a minute at the beginning contrasting my medical experience in medical school and private practice with the goal of this company. And I can tell you, you know, in the balance, which one I aligned better with. So my whole life, I wanted to be a doctor. I knew it my, you know, since I was born. I remember distinctly being four years old and asking my parents for a coloring book. And the coloring book I wanted was the human anatomy coloring book that's all the Netter medical illustrations. And I'm really blessed because my parents are super supportive and they bought it for me. So I was four years old and I was, you know, filling out all, memorizing the muscles and the bones. That's how much I love the human body, health and healing. So when I finally was able to go to medical school as the first and only person in my entire family who went into medical school and became a physician, I was right there the first day. Teach me how to keep people healthy. It's all I've ever wanted to do. But here's what medical school is. You go in and they start telling you everything that can go wrong. Everything that can go wrong with your anatomy, your physiology, with every organ, with every cell in your body, with your DNA, with your pathophysiology, with every electrolyte. I mean, you're just kind of sucker punched the first few years because it's this can go wrong, this can go wrong, this can go wrong, this can go wrong. But you think in the back of your mind, OK, but you're going to circle me back around and tell me what can go right, right? At the end, how I can fix people and keep them healthy. So you're waiting, a year goes by, and all you're hearing is all these scary things, and you're feeling littler and littler and a little more scared, and you're like, why am I doing this? And you know, then they start telling you about how you can diagnose illness. And so you start realizing, wait a minute, there's only a certain panel of labs. There's not that much I can order to diagnose things. There's not that many imaging studies. There's a set of things, and they're expanding slowly. But you kind of think when you go to medical school, there's going to be the secret of how to fix things. And then you realize every year, all I did was realize more and more how little we know. So then I get there and I'm like, well, crap, I don't know how to diagnose much. So um, hopefully by the fourth year, maybe I'll learn how to actually just fix things, even if I don't know what to call it. Well, by the fourth year, you're, you're learning all the prescription medications. You're learning all the surgeries. You're participating in surgeries. You're doing direct patient care. You're in the hospital. And all you learn that year is still how little you can actually do for how much can go wrong in the whole body. So on the day you graduate, <laughs> you stand there feeling like, my arsenal of what I can diagnose, what I can uh, label and assure the patient they have, and then what I can fix them 100% with is slim. And the rest of it we don't really know yet. And so uh, you start practicing medicine and you're basically ping-ponging symptoms because you don't know really how to create health. All you know is, okay, well, what's wrong with you today? I have this pain, I've been feeling nauseous, I have this headache whatever. And so let's just treat that symptom. Okay, well, I kind of remember maybe I should order this lab. Let's try this medicine. And so, you know, after a couple years of practicing medicine like that, realizing I'm not creating health, I am managing symptoms. I started realizing this is not what I wanted to do when I was four years old, right? So I stepped back. And for the past 20 years since I graduated medical school, I've been studying wellness and holistic medicine and how to approach supporting the natural health of our body because we have a natural health. We, none of us would be here if the natural progression of our uh, daily existence wasn't to reset back to health. Every day our body fixes things we don't even know how it fixes. Balances things we don't know how to even balance. We don't know how to micromanage everything because we don't even really understand it. And I know that. I went to medical school. There's no secret there. So what we want to do is know that our bodies are naturally self-healing and how do we optimize that? didn't learn one thing from medical school about that and didn't learn much even in my clinical practice about that. So 
that's what I spent the last two decades doing, and that's what brought me to grounding, which is why I'm on this stage today, is to tell you guys about grounding. But before I dive into grounding, and I do need that PowerPoint presentation up for that part, um, but before I dive into that, I want to tell you that this is why I'm excited specifically to give this lecture to Carico, because I'm used to going to medical conferences, um, which is a different vibe, and it's great. But here, in, in medical conferences, again, it's like, what can go wrong, and how can we micromanage what can go wrong, and really, in the end, secretly, not a whole lot, right? There's a couple great things we can do, but in general, what we talk about in medical conferences is what we don't know yet and what we need to research. So here, because you're talking about wellness, you have every tool you need to support someone's natural healing ability. So can I have my PowerPoint presentation up? Oh, awesome. So this is what I love about Carico. This is why I said an immediate yes, yes, I will come here and tell you about what grounding does. Because Carico, in the first box, if you'll see, gives you everything you need to do to improve someone's nutrition, right, with their cookware and their juicers. Gives you everything someone needs to improve their hydration, which is to filter out all the fluoride and the chlorine and the other crap that's in communal water supply. It gives you everything that you need to do to improve the air that people are breathing in with their air filters. And it gives you everything you need to do to not only improve your, their sleep, but as I'll tell you today, to improve their health and well-being through their grounded mattress. But the reason I'm standing here right now is even though I love all of Carico's products, I specifically want to place in your mind the possibility, and hopefully by the end of this, a little 30 minute thing, you'll walk out of here knowing if I could only give my customer one product, I would want it to be that grounded mattress. That's, as a physician, I'm telling you, if I was in your shoes, that's what I would want to sell. So, and here's why, and there's so many levels why, but the first most basic level why is think about everything you're trying to do to improve someone's health. Food, you're trying to optimize the food that was grown in the earth as an indirect way to put some life-giving property from the earth into my body. The water I'm drinking, we're not making it, it's coming from the earth and we're filtering it, so we're trying to put this life-giving elixir of water from the earth into our body and optimizing it, right? And air, we're not making the air, the earth's atmosphere is creating air for us, the earth itself is creating what we're breathing and we're trying to optimize that and put it in our body but you can actually directly heal by touching the actual earth. That's direct healing, it's the only modality that is direct healing, and it directly heals and impacts every single cell in your entire body, and we're gonna go through it. And we're gonna go through what it does over time and why if you are gonna get grounded, you wanna probably sleep grounded, because sleep is really the only amount of time where we're stationary for hours on end. And so if you're gonna lay there, and this is what you should tell your customers, if you are going to lay there, for hours, why would you not make that healing time? Why would you not be grounded that entire time? Because you're gonna impact every single cell in your body. There's not one part of you that's not conductive. So just to nail down the point that everything else that Carico and physicians, if you wanna include conventional medicine, is trying to do is pretty much indirectly trying to get your body to heal itself, but the earth will make a direct connection. Why do we care about the direct connection? I put this in because I was filmed in four different healing documentaries about grounding, which I encourage you guys to watch because it'll really inspire you to go out and, uh, and really make grounding maybe the platform of your sales. Um, but I'm there talking to Edgar Mitchell, who has since passed away, but this is for The Grounded, which was the first feature film on grounding. And I also talked to Charlie Duke. They were both one of the only handful of men who have ever stood on the moon, not just gone up in space, but got out, stood on the moon and looked at our planet. And both of those men said to me with, you know, tears in their eyes, how powerful, how they will never forget what it feels like to be 230,000 plus miles away and look at our planet and realize this is the only life we know. It's colorful, the space is dark and there's this colorful, beautiful ball out there that they're looking at that has an atmosphere and it has water and it has ground and they want to go back so bad and every cell in their body wants to be back on that ground and kiss it. That's how it feels to be disconnected from the earth. But we're disconnected right now, right? We all got shoes on, we're all carpet. So we might as well be on the moon. We're not electrically connected to the earth right now. We're not grounded. So you have this inner craving to reconnect back to the earth to heal. So a lot of people don't understand what that is. Like, There'll be this, you know, I get a lot of patients that are, you know, yoga nuts and they meditate for five hours a day and they do the juicing and they have water filters and 
uh, air filters. And, and it's not to knock that because it's super healthy. But what's missing? I still have this craving. I still can't lose weight or I still have this chronic pain. Here's what's missing. Your body is designed to be supported directly by the earth. And that is usually, if you have a customer and you get, do everything you can for their health, and for me as a physician, if I have a patient and we've done everything I can to optimize their health and they still don't feel good, see if they're grounded. Because grounding is almost always the missing piece. Every once in a while you'll get someone, I'm a gardener, I'm out there touching the earth every day for five hours. That's awesome. But most of the time, they have not, even if they hike, they got their shoes on, they, they're not touching the earth at all. If they play sports, they've got all their protective gear on. If they're a child, they're on, you know, even if they go outside for recess, they're on asphalt and they're usually fenced in and there's no way to even touch the earth directly. And then of course we're inside in insulated buildings and we sleep up on beds. And so we just, you can be an outdoorsman and still never be grounded. So there's this craving, there's this missing, there's this longing, like Edgar Mitchell expressed to me that day when we were shooting. Why do we have that craving? Because this is a picture, and it was the first time it was ever captured. And I want to give credit to Stephen Crochel, who captured this for the film, The Grounded. This is what the heartbeat of the Earth looks like. Did you know the Earth resonates with an electrical pulse? It's never been shown before. That is what our Mother Earth pulses out. It's called a Schumann resonance. So there is an electrical frequency from our planet. And what I'm going to go into next, which is just amazing and to me just takes my breath away every time I think about it. Every single cell in your body is conductive so that it can touch that earth energy and transmit it instantly like a light bulb turning on through your whole body. If I touch the earth and get that electrical pulse through just my fingertip, immediately my entire body's grounded from head to toe as if I flipped on a light switch. There is not one part of me that's not healing. If I touch, that's why you can be like, um, say you're at the beach and, and you're on a beach blanket that's plastic, so you're definitely not grounded, but you just have one toe in the sand. Or you're gardening and you got your plastic rubber boots on and you're all, but you just have your hands in the dirt. It's helping your brain, it's helping your digestion, it's helping your pain, it's helping your sleep later that night. There is no obstacle to grounding because your entire body is conductive. And you can't convince me that that's not some kind of divine design, that we live on an electrical earth who is spinning in space whose entire business is to create the atmosphere, the ground, the water, and the food that keeps us alive. And then our entire body is designed to be conductive. Every cell in your body is conductive. Every fluid in your body is conductive from your brain to your heart to every single organ system. And when there's no connection, then you're not receiving any benefits. And the minute there's one tiniest cell in your body connected to the earth, through a mattress panel, for example, your entire body is instantly in a healing state. Uh, I don't think that's a coincidence at all. So let's go into what it does to the human body to be grounded. And this is where this craving comes from. When you're not grounded, none of your cells and none of your organ systems and your entire body, none of it's benefiting from being grounded because the minute you disconnect, it's like turning off the light. There is no replication for grounding. You can do the juicing, you can eat great things, you can take all these amazing supplements and you can exercise, but you're still ungrounded. Let's just be clear. No matter what healing, healthy thing you are doing to support your health, and there are tons of things you can do that have been medically proven to support health, but you're still not grounded. So if your customer is not improving, or even if they feel great, you can always add grounding to support an entire different healing pathway. So here's how your body's designed. The plasm inside every single cell you have in your body right now is all an electrical gel. The Skeleton, it's called a cytoskeleton. It's what makes your cells 3D instead of just a fizzled little deflated balloon. It keeps it plump. It's a little skeleton. It's like a little uh, fiber optics going through your cells, lighting it up conductively. The membrane around every cell is conductive. So every cell that every cell touches, and then the one next to that and the one next to that, that is instantly conductively turned on when one cell is grounded. The lymphatics, uh, fluid, the plasma, the blood, all of the fluids in and outside of your cell are also electrically conductive. The skeleton that gives your body form and shape, the bones you have that allow you to just have a body at all, the basis of the body is conductive. Every bone in your body. The muscles that drape on your bone that allow you to move, all conductive. So when one little muscle is conductive, uh, touches the earth grounded or touches the mattress grounded, you're entire musculoskeletal system is instantly grounded. And you know that because you know what happens if you sever a nerve, your muscle atrophies and you can't use it. 
right? It relies on electricity. It relies on conductivity. Your heartbeat, everybody knows that in EKG, right? You measure the electrical activity of your heart. But think about what that means. It means it's conductive. And without conductivity, if you sever the innervation to the heart, you're not alive anymore. So you need a conductive, beating heart that then spreads conductivity and circulation throughout your entire body to every muscle, to your skeleton, to every cell, all your digestive organs. If you sever the innervation to your digestive organs, you cannot eat food, digest food, and you will not stay alive. You need electrical conductivity to digest food, to even swallow food, to digest food and to move it along the digestive tract and to absorb it. I mean, I could go on and on. Literally, I could list your brain. Obviously, I think we all know is conductive. It's electrical impulses. We can look at it on an on a EEG, right? I can measure it while you're sleeping. I can see brainwave patterns. There is not one part of your body that's not conductive. And there is not one surface of the Earth that's not conductive. And we live together. And the entire business, as these astronauts told me, of the Earth is to provide a place for us to live. So does it not make sense to have something that's just waiting to be electrically activated actually dock itself to the Earth to improve its function? That's grounding. So. The other thing that's really interesting about grounding, and which is why you're going to want to tell your customers this, and they're like, OK, you know, in, in conventional medicine, you need a certain amount of health to heal, which is kind of unfortunate. Like, if your heart's not doing well, and you have poor blood flow or a clot or a heart attack, the worse it's doing, the harder it is to heal, because you rely on your body to heal. Like I said at the beginning, our bodies are self-healing. I can shock your heart, but I can't make your heart function well and keep you alive. Right? So your body relies on its own healing to heal. But the worse your circulation is, then the less blood flow it gets, so then the sicker it gets. So it's this kind of, you can plateau in your healing. So your customers probably have gotten to a certain point and plateaued in their healing. But with grounding, there is no plateau because even the blood clot itself is conductive. So even if you told me I have a blood clot and there's no blood flow on the other side of it, that blood clot is conductive, and so everything on the other side is still grounded. There's no barrier with grounding. Um, another one is uh, digestion. That's a big one. Like, I can't eat certain things, and then my gut's all scarred. Maybe I have to even get my GI tract resected because it's not working anymore, or I have to avoid all these certain foods. And so, you know, the worse your gut is functioning, the worse you, you can give them the great juice from the juicer, and you can gr eat great food. But if your gut is inflamed and not working well, how is it really helping? It's still relying on absorption and then distribution to get those building blocks. Again, not so with grounding. Your gut could be completely scarred, inflamed, irritated by every single thing you can put in it. But if you're grounded, your entire GI tract is grounded. Same thing with blood flow. Like the, the, when you have an infection and say you have an abscess and it's walled off with scar tissue. I can put antibiotics in your bloodstream, but if the antibiotic is not able to get in past that scar tissue, I can't do anything about that abscess. We're gonna have to surgically remove it because your body relies on circulation to get the antibiotic in there. It's not so with grounding. Even the scar tissue and even the abscess itself, even the pus, as gross as that sounds, is all conductive. So when you're grounded, every part of you, even the worst, most scarred, unhealing, old chronic issues in your body are now finally grounded. So when you ground someone and they've, their doctor told them, this is your new normal, it's as good as it's going to get, get used to it. That's not true if they haven't been grounded. There's a whole new pathway to healing that we're just beginning to take seriously in conventional medicine. There's been about 20 years of research, which I'm going to go through next, to really prove that even though it's as old as time, obviously, you know, we're meant to live off the earth. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the earth creating a place for us to live and a habitat for us to thrive in. We're finally realizing what, it, what damage we're doing by being disconnected. And a lot of the things that we considered age related are actually just disconnection. So when we reconnect, even if you have a customer or if I have a patient who says, oh, I've had that for 20 years and nothing's going to happen to that. Nothing's going to help that. In fact, I need surgery on that. I've been, wait, I've been putting off my knee replacement, whatever it is. If they haven't been grounded, you don't know that. There's a whole new pathway of healing. They could even have an artificial joint in there and they're still going to be 100% grounded. So everybody who is plateaued in their healing should give grounding a try. And then everybody who doesn't have an issue and who's healthy should give grounding a try because it's supporting the natural well-being of our body. So I want to talk about 
all the different medical studies so that hopefully you have some tools when you go to your customers and they're like, well, okay, I understand we should touch the earth, but what's, it gonna, what's in it for me kind of thing. Well, instantly, if you, let's just talk in terms of the mattress, pan, uh, the mattress that you guys carry because, um, you know, that speaking at the Carico Convention, we'll focus on the fact that they might be sleeping grounded. So say they just touch their bed for a split second. Do turn on the light switch, I'm grounded, and then I take my hand away. What happened in just that one second? So in just that one second, their, their muscles, this is medically proven, and on my website, which I'll show you at the end, you might want to write down every single one of these studies. I'm not going to go into complete detail and tell you all the bibliography for each and the citation for each, because you can go to my website, and it's all listed, and you can click it and read it yourself. Print it out and give it to your customers if you want to. But there's study after study after study, and the first one just shows this was patients that were grounded through their foot. So just pretend I'm stepping on your mattress right now for a split second. And instantly they were testing the trapezius muscle, which is where most of us carry stress. We get those knots, right, and those tension headaches. Instantly, muscle tension decreased. I'm talking instantly, like I touch it, tension went down. Because it's an electrical flipping on the light switch. You don't have to wait for it to travel up like you would with circulation. You don't have to wait for the Advil to digest and be absorbed into the gut like you would if you were using a medication. You touch it and it's an instant conductivity. Your muscles relax. On an EEG, which is what is the brain waves, it shows that your brain relaxes into an alpha wave pattern, which is the healing state of the human brain. Coincidentally, that's the same frequency and the same resonance of the heartbeat of the earth. So when you touch the heartbeat of the earth, you become resonant with that healing brain wave pattern that quick. There's other ways to get into that alpha brain wave pattern, and that's during sleep. You, you cycle through some alpha. And that's why sleep is so great. So even if you weren't grounded, is it great to sleep? Yeah, of course, we need sleep to stay alive. But if you can sleep grounded, you're in the alpha patterns for longer. They've also shown you can get into an alpha uh, brainwave pattern with prolonged meditation, which is why meditation has been shown in medical studies. If you can get into a meditative habit, it's so healthy, it helps with blood pressure, helps with um, decreasing pain and that kind of thing. So th there's other ways to get this healing, but instantly and with zero effort and a lot easier to me than trying to meditate is to touch that grounded mattress that you guys have because instantly my brain is gonna relax into the alpha healing pattern. And then if I measured your body voltage and your skin voltage, it's gonna immediately normalize with the earth because it's just like when you dock any electronic, it's an immediate neutralization. And so immediately my skin, my muscles, and my brain are like, ah, oh, when I'm grounded. So the instant results you can tell your customers is that it's, you're less stressed out. You're decreasing stress through your body head to toe. But what if I'm gonna do it for a few minutes? Say I'm gonna take a quick power nap, 20, 30 minutes. After just 30 minutes, medical studies have shown that they look at your blood and your blood itself is less likely to clump. So your blood is actually able to move more freely just after a few minutes. Um, there's something on the outside, like I told you, the cell membranes are all conductive. And so there's something called the zeta potential and it triples when you're grounded. And so there's three times less likely that it's gonna clump. So if you have someone with circulatory issues or heart disease or stroke or anything like that, you wanna get them grounded because their blood moves more freely. Not only does their blood move more freely, but then we did a medical study that showed that the capillaries in your skin and in throughout your entire body, which is the, the end reason for circulation, like you have your major arteries and, and veins carrying blood, but the real reason is to get into your organs and your skin and your tissues and deliver the blood, right? And that happens in the capillary system. And after 30 minutes, it was shown that after just being grounded 30 minutes, your circulation increased, so your capillaries dilated. So not only are the blood cells less likely to stick together, but they're actually reaching the end organs better. Your respiratory rate also naturally increases, so now the blood that is more effectively being delivered throughout your whole body is actually more oxygenated, so it's healthier. You're getting that fresh oxygen all throughout your body. And then the heart itself, the heart function itself, it's called heart rate variability. That's what HRV stands for. And that is a really good prognostic indicator for how healthy you are. We look at that after a major heart, like a, a heart attack or heart transplant or a premature infant who has an immature cardiovascular system, we can look at their heart rate variability and predict how well they are gonna do. It's a prediction of morbidity and mortality. So you want good heart rate variability and grounding does that after just a few minutes. It helps your heart function more uh, strong. Then it helps increase the circulation by opening up your capillaries and getting the blood everywhere, which helps every organ in your body because every organ is trying to get that blood. And then it, oxygenates your blood better, and then it makes it less likely to clot. So it is an instantaneous benefit to all of your organs through your circulation. That's after just a few minutes. 
what if I'm going to do it for a few hours? So for you guys, for the mattress, what if they're going to sleep just one night grounded? After just one night of grounding, your electrolytes stabilize and your bone metabolism has decreased. So in one night of grounding, you've just protected your entire skeletal system. We did a study where they grounded for just one night and showed that you actually have less calcium in your urine. And that is, means that your bones are leaching out less calcium and they're actually protected and preserved. So just one night, if you have someone with osteoporosis, osteoporosis or osteopenia, you've protected their bones. And that's literally one night. You can boost someone's thyroid function after one night. There is a response in your thyroid, which is your metabolism. And actually taking an off spin of that, I, with my own patients, did a study about that made me think of what if people would lose weight if they were grounded. So I took uh, a dozen patients and I followed them for three months. And we did no other change to diet, no extra exercise. Maybe you have someone who has mobility issues. Maybe you have someone who just doesn't want to change their diet. Maybe you have someone who doesn't want to get that water filter. They don't want to change what they food they put in their body. But they'll sleep, right? So, of course, they can sleep grounded. They, my patients, the vast majority of my patients, over 60% of them, started losing a pound a week doing nothing else, just a pound a week. Because guess what? Their thyroid's functioning better. Their heart's uh, beating better. The blood flow's going better. They're getting better oxygenation just by sleeping. That's it. On top of that, their blood sugar starts stabilizing after just one night of, of grounding. Your fasting blood glucose decreases by about 15%. That's pretty major. Over time, decreasing your blood glucose, not changing your diet, just grounding by 15% is enough to change your A1C levels over time, which makes it less likely for you to have metabolic syndrome or diabetes. So we're talking about one night of grounding now impacting the optimization of how your body functions. We're starting to move into not just, I got less stress, I feel a little better. We're actually starting to get to the point where are we reversing disease? Are we treating illness? And are we optimizing health? And are we going to impact longevity? And I say yes. More studies, longer term studies. Now we're talking about three or more days of being grounded, sleeping grounded. After three or more days, we can measure that your organ systems are now functioning as a whole better. So you want to talk about the tagline of helping people live longer, healthier lives. What you're really wanting to do is target high, you know, things that kill people, high blood pressure cardiovascular disease, um, fall risk because of thin bones, stroke. So after just a few days of grounding, and this is what you can tell your customers, try the mattress for one week. I don't know if you have a return policy or not, but I'm telling you after one week, you can actually impact someone's long-term health because their blood pressure is lowered by about 25%, not talking about starting medication, not talking about watching what they eat, not talking about forcing them to exercise, just from sleeping grounded. A 25% decrease in general with their blood pressure. If we took their blood and we measured their blood inflammatory markers, which is a reflection of trauma and wear and tear and stress to your body over the day, it cut them in half. So whatever they did that day and then they slept grounded that night, it, their body was able to recover twice as quickly. So we measure something called creatinine kinase, which shows muscle inflammation and muscle damage. Literally just sleeping grounded and doing nothing else, it showed that their muscles were less damaged from their activities of daily living and recovered better. So their pain decreased, so their sleep improved. And sleep improve, um, improving has a lot to do also with what we were talking about with the alpha prolonged uh, phases of alpha healing. And then I already mentioned about the weight loss in my patients, about a pound a week just started coming off. So now you can really say, because weight loss is a huge um, factor in chronic disease. Uh, weight loss is a, weight is a huge factor in some cancers, in high blood pressure, in cardiovascular risk, in stroke, in osteoporosis, in osteoarthritis. Um, Almost universally, doctors just say, lose some weight. Well, how? If you sleep grounded, we have shown that you can predict weight loss with no other change to their daily life. So it's, a, it's like a default, easiest way I can think of to support every cell in your body. In fact, even if you try and think of hard ways to support every cell in your body, it doesn't do it the way grounding does, and it doesn't do every single, even when you're exercising, you're targeting maybe your bones and your muscles and your cardiovascular system, but you're not targeting everything. You're not necessarily targeting your kidney or your pancreas, right? You're not necessarily targeting your joints. It's actually hard on your joints. So there is no healing modality like grounding, none. So now we need longer term studies. We're just starting to become aware in modern medicine what grounding does. We've benefited since the beginning dawn of mankind, but we haven't known in 
conventional medicine what it was until recently. So now we need longer term studies. So this is what I would predict, and I think it's reasonable based on what I told you we already know. Did you know that depression is also an inflammatory disease? When you have high blood inflammatory markers, you're way more likely to be depressed. So I would predict over time, over people sleeping on your mattresses for years, <laughs> decreased depression and anxiety rates. I would predict decreased cancer rates. Many cancers are related to chronic long-term inflammation. I would uh, predict decreased dementia. Dementia is an inflammatory condition, a chronic long-term inflammatory condition of the brain. So I would predict that it will help with uh, memory and other age-related changes. It's definitely in the bones, like we already talked about, less arthritis, less osteopenia. I, because we see that it stabilizes blood sugars and can impact hemoglobin A1C over time, I would definitely predict that it would decrease diabetes rates, which is a huge public health concern. In short, to sum it all up, it's going to boost longevity. I really believe that, and that's why I'm standing here right now. Every organ system is supported. Every health issue anyone's ever complaining to you about can be impacted if they're grounded. Everyone. And it doesn't matter if it's an old issue. Like I said, it could be something that's scarred down and they're like, there's nothing we can do. Maybe we can inject a steroid injection into an old scar. But it's conductive. So yes, there is something you can do. You can get grounded. Even if it's a new issue. Say I, I'm a biker and I just, I, I don't know, I tweaked my ankle and I have a little sprain or a strain. It can work on an acute issue. It doesn't have to be an old chronic issue. It can immediately help you that night because like I told you in the studies with the creatinine kinase, you can do a strenuous activity. You can just do something positive like working out and you will be half as sore a few days later and you, your muscles will have had half as much damage. So your recovery is enhanced. So acute things, it's helpful for as well. So it can be chronic issues. It can be new issues. It can be old issues. It can just be stress. Like I said at the beginning, it can just be, I've had a hard freaking day and I want to sleep tonight and I want the muscles to really relax and I want my brain to really relax because I need to be prepared for the next day tomorrow. So it can just be that they're well, but they want to navigate life more easily. They want to have more energy. It can, it's just all, everything in your body is completely supported by grounding, everything. So if you want just a way to get this across to your customers in just an easy kind of snapshot way, what I would tell them is you would never buy an expensive cell phone or an expensive laptop ever Use it, you know, charge it up once, use it, and then when it dies, chuck it in the trash, right? But that's what we do with our body. We're born, and we're an electrical gel just waiting to be recharged by the earth, and we don't. And we're disconnected, and we're undocked. And then when our battery dies, that's it? That's it? No, you can dock it in. You can, just like you go to bed every night, you dock in your cell phone, you dock in your computer. Guess what? Next day, you got 100% battery. You're ready to go, ready to meet whatever demands you need to use that device. That's your body on the earth. The earth is your docking system. So if you're gonna sleep at night, you wanna sleep grounded because you're gonna recharge the electrical gel from every cell in your body to the organ systems that function on it. And not only are you gonna heal in your sleep because of all the things I said, but you're also then gonna be resilient for the times when you aren't grounded. Because let's face it, when you get off that mattress, you're not grounded anymore, but you're resilient because you've improved your cardiac function. You've given your, your brain that break so it could process and release everything that happened yesterday and start fresh today. So again, the same thing. If, they, if you're talking to them and they have a cell phone or they have a laptop, I would say, are you gonna throw your cell phone out when it loses power? Because I'm not, I'm just gonna plug it in. And then tonight when I go to sleep, I'm just gonna dock to the earth by sleeping on my grounded mattress. So um, that's my website. I have all of those studies and more. I've got tons of free articles, tons of free videos there for you. And also I am going to do a Q&A tomorrow. So if you have any questions, I would love to see you there and you just bring them. That's it.